In a small, devastated old steel town, we meet a young boy named Isaac, who has decided to run away from home. After stealing money from his no-good father, Isaac arrived at his friend Poe's house. After some convincing, Poe begrudgingly agrees to come along with Isaac to see him off. The two travel a couple of miles, and then it starts to storm, so they duck inside an old abandoned building to keep dry. There they encounter three men who at first seem fine. Then everything goes wrong when the other men attack. Isaac throws a heavy ball bearing at one of their heads, a Swede named Otto, and he's killed instantly. Isaac and Poe run away, terrified and confused. Shortly after Isaac and Poe went their separate ways, Grace, Poe's mom, found her son in a pool of blood. With her awesome nursing abilities, Poe survived. Lee, Isaac's sister, comes into town to visit her family. She is reunited with her old high school love, Poe, but unfortunately she is already married. They both know it was only a one-night thing, but their love still lingers. That same night, Isaac decides to continue his original plan, to mosey on down to California. Poe gets arrested. He is accused for killing Otto, the Swedish guy that Isaac had actually killed. He accepts the accusation for his friend and also for Lee. Grace and Harris continue their on and off relationship. Isaac sets off for California. He plans to make a fresh start and go to college. She took the train While sitting in his jail cell, Poe is at an inner battle with himself. He is deciding whether he should rat out Isaac or not. On one hand, there is his own freedom at stake. On the other hand, there is the freedom of his best friend, and not to mention Lee would be so mad at him. Ultimately, he decides that he gets nothing either way and decides not to talk. While Isaac is on the train to California, he meets a guy named Baron. Baron pretends to be friendly and nice, but one night while Isaac is sleeping, Baron steals the money Isaac had in his pocket. Isaac started chasing after Baron with a knife to get his stolen money back. While chasing Baron, the police saw Isaac and started chasing after them. Isaac continues to rob stores like Walmart for food and clothes. When robbing Walmart, employees start chasing after Isaac but cannot catch up to him. Harris, upset with his decision to incriminate Poe, kills the witness and Jesus from the murder of the old factory to unincriminate Poe. He felt bad about it, but he felt that he had to do what was right to keep Poe out of trouble. Henry, thinking about the burden he's become due to the accident he survived, decides to kill himself by swallowing pills. It was not successful. Isaac, already traveled far away, decides to hitchhike back home from a lonely trucker. Upon his return, he decides to confess to the killing of the Swede, Otto. By the time he confesses to Harris, there is no case to answer to, and he was free to go. In the end, due to the disappearance of Jesus and Murray, Poe is released via Harris. Because there was no longer any evidence of his murder, he was no longer required to be in prison, and he was released to his mother. Well... That's the end of the show, guys. Thanks for watching.